Hello everyone, this is Deepa Priya from RMD Engineering College. In this lecture, we will be seeing the ER model from DBMS. So, first of all, what is data model? In DBMS, we are having multiple types of data models. That is, data model in sense to describe or the structure of database, how we are going to create the database. So, that the structure will be called as a data model. There are multiple data models available for creating a DBMS. So they are physical model, conceptual data model, a representation model and self-describing data model. So in this lecture we will be discussing only about the conceptual data model that is your ER model. ER model is nothing but entity relationship model. So entity in sense each object in the real world will be called as an entity and relationship you are going to map the relationship between two or more entities here. So that is your entity relationship model. So these are the basic things in the ER model. That is entity set, relationship set, attribute, relation, weak entity and function. So first of all, uh, entity set. Entity in sense, as I said before, uh, object in the real world data. For example, consider a college database. In the college database, the entity will be in the college, each student plays a entity role. For college, each student is an entity. But entity set in sense, all the entity with same attributes or same properties will be combined and called as an entity set. So entity means uh, one student is called as entity. Entity set in sense, all the students of course are going to have a common attributes. They are not going to have a common values, but they are going to have a common properties for them. The property will be called as a attributes here. So that will be called as a entity set. So for a college database, we can take student as an entity, faculties as an entity, and course as an entity. So these are the various entity available for college database management. A relationship set. So for the entity we have uh, spoke before. So entities are student and course are the entity here. And for this two entity, what is the relationship among between these two entity will be mapped in the relationship set. So here the relation between student and courses. Student will be enrolling the courses. So that's how the name is given as enrolled in, or also you can name it as enrolls. So students are going to enroll for the courses in the college. So this is how you will be mapping the relation for two or more entities. It is not uh, that each entity, uh, that is two entities should have only one relationship. Two entities can have multiple relationships also. The next one is attributes. Uh, in uh, entity, uh, we, call, we spoke that the entity sets means each all the entities will be having a common attributes or common properties will be coming under entity set we, we told. So properties here will be coming uh, will be called as a attributes. For example, if you are taking an employee for the as an entity, for that entity employee, employee will be having uh, properties or attributes like of course employee is going to have an employee ID is going to have an employee name, his age, address, salary and what type of job he is doing. So these are the attributes for that particular entity. So this is the attribute. For example, for another example, you can take the entity student. For student, the attributes will be student number, that is a register number, name, which department he is, what are the courses he enrolled, what is the age of the student, who is his class teacher kind of these everything will be coming under the properties or attribute of a entity so these attribute will be represented in a oval symbol so the notations of all the uh, entity attributes or relation will be discussed in the later slides the next one composite attribute composite attribute in sense for a entity address is an attribute but uh, but that address can be divided into multiple values. Address is one single value but it can be divided into multiple value. For example, address will be having street, 
which city, which state, which country, and also street number, house number. So everything will be the composite attribute of the entity. So for entity student, for example, you take the student entity, the address of a student will be a composite attribute. So composite attribute is nothing but an attribute contains, uh, can be divided into multiple values. The next one, single valued attribute. Single valued, uh, take this example, date of birth. So for one student, of course, date of birth is going to be a one single value. And also CGPA is going to be one single value. Throughout the degree, CGPA is, it, CGPA may be differing from each semester, but the value will be only one value for one semester. That is your single valued attribute. The next one is multi-valued attribute. Multi-valued in sense, the attribute will be having multiple values. For example, phone number. One student can have two or more phone numbers. He may give, uh, he may give his phone number or his parent phone number. So, uh, he may be having multiple phone numbers. Similarly, a student can have multiple email IDs also. He will be having his personal mail ID as well as a institution mail ID. So this thing will be coming under multi-valued attribute. The difference between composite attribute and multi-valued attribute is in composite attribute it is one single value but that one single value will be divided into multiple value that is your composite attribute. Coming to multi-valued attribute the value itself multiple values will be present. Phone number means it will be having multiple phone numbers also that is your multi-valued attribute. The next one, stored attribute and derived attribute. Stored attribute is an attribute already stored in your database. But derived attribute is, if I want to have, uh, get some data means, from the stored attribute, I can derive my derived attribute. For example, from the date of birth, I can derive the age of the student. Similarly, from the date of joining, I can derive the experience of a faculty. So this is your stored attribute and derived attribute. So these are the notations for representing your uh, entity model, entity relationship model. For an entity, it is a rectangle. Weak entity, it is double rectangle. Weak entity in sense, in entity, you can derive a unique column. That is, a primary key will be available in your entity. But in case of weak entity, it is difficult to get a unique column from your weak entity. So that it will, uh, that's why it will be called as a weak entity. And to represent the attribute, the symbol is or the notation is oval. And if the, it is underlined means it is a key attribute. That means for that entity, that attribute plays as a primary key. With an example, we will be seeing in the next slide. Multi-valued attribute. We saw the example of phone number and email ID as a multi-value so that will be uh, represented as double oval and composite attribute we saw an example of address as composite address is one single value but further address can be divided into multiple values so that is, uh, this is how you will be representing the composite attribute and the derived attribute it will be the dotted oval and cardinality will be seen in the example and for representing the relationship we will be going with the uh, time and single for representing the relationship of weak entity you will be going with the double diamond symbol. So we have taken the university database application as an example for representing the ER model. So in this ER model first we will go with the entity. So here for university database there are five entities are represented here. They are instructor, student, department, dependent and the course. So these five are the entity of the university database model and for each entity set there is going to be a attributes. So for instructor the attributes are ID, name, department and salary. Here you can note that ID has been underlined. It means that ID is going to act as a primary key for the instructor and coming to student the attributes are register number, phone, name, total credit and CGPA. So a register number is a primary key here and phone number has been double uh, oval. It means that it is a multi-valued 
attribute and coming to department department name building and budget are the attribute with a primary key department name and here you can see dependent has been represented with two uh, double rectangle it means that it is a weak entity so for that weak entity their attributes are name relationship and location and name is a primary key here and for the entity course the attributes are course id title and credit course id as a primary key now we'll go for the mapping of relationship between each entity first the relationship between instructor and the student that is faculty instructor and since faculty so faculty is going to teach the student so teachers is the relation between instructor and the student and the relation between instructor and the department is the instructor faculty is going to work for the department as well as faculty is going to manage the department as i said before relationship is not one single relation can be mapped for two entity there can be multiple relations that also and the relation between student and dependent dependent is nothing but the personal data or personal details about the students are stored in the entity called dependent and the relationship has been represented using double diamond because it is a uh, relation on a weak entity so it is a double diamond one and the next one is relation between student and the course so student is going to enroll for the courses so that is the relation between student and course now we'll go for the mapping of cardinality cardinality in sense the degree of the cardinality will be mentioned here that means that uh, there are four cardinalities that is one to one one to many and many to many so here instructor instructor is just faculty and department department is going to be one single department so that is uh, nothing department is going to be a single department so it is one on the department side but going to the instructor side it is for one relation it is n and the other relation it is one what does this mean means instructor faculty each faculty individual faculty in the department is going to manage the department department is one single department so it is one here and also individual faculties are going to manage the department so that is so one is to one but going with the works for relationship put together all the faculties are going to work for the department that one single department so we have represented the n n represents multiple faculties many to one coming to student and the course here also student is going each student in each individual students will be enrolling for multiple courses 10 students are there means each each students will be enrolling for various courses multiple courses so one student here individually they are mapping so individual students will be uh, enrolling for multiple courses so that is the cardinality is one is to many coming to the relation of uh, instructor and the student that it is many to many many to many will be represented as m is to n for example you consider a class suppose you are taking cac cac a in cac a section around 60 students are going to be there and he will be having 6 to 7 papers for one semester so 6 to 7 faculties will be teaching for the 60 students so you are considering the instructor side it is also many faculty and when you are considering for student side that also multiple students are going to be there so both many is not the same value here so we will be representing it as m and n so multiple faculties are going to uh, teach for multiple students so the cardinality here will be m to m that is many to many so this is how a er model will be represented for each database thank you